Now I'm going to create the top pattern. So as you can see, I have the starting line which serves as the shoulder line. And I have the chest line which also serves as the armhole line. And then this is the waist line and this is the hip line. So this is the shoulder line. Let me mark this. This is the shoulder line. This is the chest line. This is the waist line. This is the hip line. And this is the length. So now I will start imputing the measurements. The shoulder is 60 inches. 60 inches divided by 2 is 8 inches. So I mark the 8 inches here. And when you come to the armhole line or the chest line, I'm going to mark the same 8 inches here. Then I'll draw a straight line. Now I'm going to insert my bust measurements. My bust is 37 inches divided by 4. I get 9.2. 9.2 inches. I add half inch for ease allowance, for ease and then one inch for sewing allowance. I come to the waist. The waist is 33 inches divided by 4 is 8.2 inches. I put, I take half for ease, half inch for ease and then one inch for sewing our allowance. Because this top is going to be a free top, it's not fitting top. So we go to the hip. The hip circumference is 39 inches. 39 inches divided by 4. 9.7. I mark 9.7 here. Half inch for ease and then 1 inch for seam allowance. Now I come to the neck. So the neck width is 3.5 inches. The neck depth is also 3.5 inches. Then I take my curve ruler and connect the line. So to get the armhole slope, you come down by one inch, then you connect the line from the neck to the, the armhole slope. So now we are going to find the midpoint of the armhole. What I have here is 6.5 divided by 2. You can fold you can fold your tape into two. So this is what I cut. You get 3.2 and then you cut in by half an inch. This is for the front arm hole and this is the back arm hole. So I connect the front arm hole first. Then you come to the back and when you connect it from the midpoint here. This is for the back arm hole, this is for the front arm hole. Now for the back neck you will mark three and a half for the width and the depth is one inch. Connect it with the curve ruler. Then now we connect from the chest line to the waist, then to the hip line. Now you connect it straight down to the hem line of the top. This this is just the body pattern to create for the top. That's the yoke top. So now we are coming to mark the yoke. We'll, you decide how much length you want the yoke to be. So here I'm taking five and a half inch for the yoke. You you mark it from the 
the shoulder line so you come down five and a half inch then you connect it see this is the yoke you come down five and a half inch because the yoke the style I, I showed you people on the screen is the yoke is very up and short so I come down by five and inch five and a half inch five and a half inch so now we go up and take half an inch for sewing allowance on the shoulder so now we have come to the end of our basic bodies for the top and you can keep this pattern to make any top you can add a uh, dart to it but this is a free top so there's, there's no need of that before I do slash and spread on the material when you cut off the yoke don't forget when cutting the yoke on the fabric you add half an inch you add add half an inch for the sewing allowance and then when you cut this main one off you also add half an inch here and I'm going to slash it in about four pieces or five to spread to cut the top but here now I choose to because it's just a, some like a line we are just connecting the line straight from here because we are not going to need this waist anymore so we are just connecting from here straight down to the hemline to give it a little bit of shape we are just going to come in by 0.75 Because we are not going to need this uh, waistline when when cutting on the fabric. So the only thing is we we are going off with this line. This is a new line. So I'm going to cut from here like this and cut the through the back armhole arm to the back neck. We are going to cut from the back first, and then on the fabric now we. We'll we we'll use the yoke to cut the back the yoke for the back i'm going to cut so this is the back so we're cutting on the back we we'll cut the front Ample after cutting the back, we'll cut the front arm and then we'll cut the front neck. So now I'm going to split it into pieces. We will divide what you have here. I'm dividing it uh, by two. That's a half here. This five and a half. I'm going to divide it into two again. I'm going to get one, two, three, four pieces. You can still divide it more if you want. Body that I'm going to split into pieces. I'm going to split from here. So I split it one, two, three, four. So when I'm cutting it on the fabric, I'll cut the back armhole first and I'll use this to cut again for the front one. I'll cut and spread it on the fabric this is the fabric i'm going to use to cut the, the lower part of the top and i have two and a half meters of fabric here this is the front side this is the good side and this is the wrong side and i fold it into two and fold it into two again so i have one two three four i'm going to slash and spread the bottom part of the blouse on it 
please be careful when you are cutting it on the, your fabric. You slash, but it should not pass through. It should end somewhere here, half an inch. You align this side. This is the center front. It's cut on both, both the front and the back. I'm cutting together. I'm going to cut it. You spread this ones to the amount you want. And up here, you're going to go up by half an inch for sewing allowance. So you cut it, you cut it to the back angle, this the back, connect the lines from here like this. So this is how the pattern look like for the top. So I'll cut, I'm cutting the back, so this is the back line. So this is it. Then I'm going to shape the thing. Can come like this from here like this. Because the down is not straight, it's a bit curved. Now I'm going to pull the, the back out. I'm going to dip the front and hold it. I'm going to use a pattern piece to cut the front ample out. This is the back, this is the front. So now I finish with the tamper and I'm going to cut the yoke with this African fabric. Now I cut the fabric, I place the yoke on it. I'm going to cut the back look first. But before doing that, I need to add the same allowance. I'm going to add one inch. And I'm going to cut the back, the back neck together with the back ample, connect to this one, and then cut. This is for the back yoke and I'm going to slit the back open about four and a half inches here. I'm going to open the back. I'll fix one button here so that it can pass through the head easily. Now I'm going to slit the back up to here where the mark is. Where So this is how the back will look. I'm going to use this now to cut the front yoke. The back and the front yoke are the same. The difference is the back half slits the back of the neckline. So now here so I'm going to mark one inch for the same allowance. So this is the front, this is the front yoke. So now we are now coming to cut the front neck. So not here. The front armhole went inside. So now we are going to remove the front armhole this way. So go like this. So this is the front yoke. This is the front. This is the back.
this is the front and this is the back the, the back has it the front is okay so now i'm going to use this cutting fabric this white cutting fabric to cut the lining for both so i finished cutting the lining for both the front and the back yoke this is the lining from the for the front yoke and then this is the lining for the back yoke so when i'm sewing it i'll split it open here after attaching the lining to the neck and i'll come back to show you the next step so guys i finished lining the yoke for the top and i made a small loop and i'm going to add a button here the next thing is to attach the lower parts of the top before I attach it I'll make a notch in the middle to locate the middle point so now I'm going to attach the front one first by also notching the midpoint and then the midpoint of the back I'm going to attach the good side of the yoke and then the good side of the lower part like so. I'm going to pin it. So this is the front lower part. So I'm attaching the back one. So I finished painting both the front and the back. I'm taking it to my machine to sew along and also sew from here to the end and come and show you so I finish attaching the yoke and the next thing is to use the one inch seam allowance for the side take one inch straight down on this side and one inch and take one inch here straight down so I'll take it to my machine, go and sew it, give it a good press and come and show you guys how it looks. <laughs> so guys, this is the finishing look after fixing the sleeves and then this is the back look, this is the back and then the back I added one button here, I put the button here so beautiful so this is the skirt so guys if this tutorial has been so helpful to you please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and share with family and friends so see you on my next video thank you so much bye